So I'm on GeoGebra.org. I'm going to click Start Calculator. And I want to right click. And I do not want to show the axis, so I'm going to turn that off. I don't have the grid on, but I just want to make sure that it's no grid. And then what we're looking for here is the geometry tools. Of the three icons, it's the one in the middle. And what I know about an isosceles triangle is that two lengths are the same. So I have two lengths that are the same length. So I'm going to start with creating a circle. So I'm going to create a point with a circle. And any two points on this circle will be, oops, and do that. Any two points on this circle will be the same distance from the center. So if I were to make line segments where I connect these three points, I know for sure that this is going to be an isosceles triangle. So let's go ahead and measure this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click Show Hide Object. So I'm going to click on the circle to hide the circle. Come back to the arrow. Now let me go ahead and measure this. So I come down to where it says Angle. I go A, C, B, and it shows that exterior angle is 310.8. And then I'm going to do A, B, C, and it's 49.2. So I actually need it to show me that both of these base angles are the same. Now I know that A and C are the same and A and B are the same because they're both the radii of this circle. But I still want to measure it, so I'm going to do distance or length. So I'm going to click A, C. It tells me it's 3.4. I'm going to do A, B. It's also 3.4, so I do know that this is isosceles. Move these out of the way. I'm actually going to do show hide label here on the side so I can get rid of the labels on these lines because they're in my way. Now, this whole corner with this little circle with the center is going to be 360 degrees. And so what's left over, so when I do 360 minus 310.8, I do indeed get 49.2. So I'm going to put that in here, 49.2, and I go to advanced, and click on this little symbols, and I can see the degree symbols in there, and then I say OK, and use the move tool and put that in there. So now I know that these are isosceles because the base angles are each the same, and the two line segments are the same. So that is an isosceles triangle.